Hi guys, thanks for joining me. I am getting ready to work on a project that I should have done about four years ago. My son graduated from high school six years ago and when he did I made this canvas photo of him. Basically what I did was I printed a black and white photo of him on on some tissue paper that I bought at the Dollar Tree and I have that taped to this peep of to this piece of paper that I'll run through my printer. Now you need to know which way your printer prints. So I did a test print. Basically, I need to face mine down and it runs through, but your printer could be different. And then I have my canvas here that's the same size of his. I have some Mod Podge and I'll show you what I'll do with that later. And then I have some black paint to go around the edges. So the first thing I'm going to do is just coat the outside edges of this canvas. The first picture that I did of my son, I actually brought the paint up over the sides by maybe a half inch, and you could really see that under the picture. And so I started over, and you can see this time I end right at that corner, and that's what I'll do with hers. I love these foam brushes. They're inexpensive. You can wash them out and reuse them. So I will just paint these sides. Now where these corners are and they have it folded over, I'm probably going to need to get a little detail brush and get the black paint to go into that area. Again, you don't really want it coming over the top too much, just barely. And that's it. I'll let that dry. I'll decide if I need a second coat or not. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and move forward. Tissue paper is very wrinkly, and so you want to try to get a lot of those wrinkles out. Notice I just have mine taped at the top. I don't want to tape it at the bottom because as it pulls the machine, I wouldn't want it to, I don't know, get bunched up kind of down here. I just let it stay free flowing. Now when I did my son's picture, I did not own any type of Cricut things whatsoever. And so I just use a regular iron when I made his. That works fine. It's just since I have my Easy Press Mini here, I might as well use it. And I'm just gently pulling, trying to pull those wrinkles out while I'm ironing. And as I recall from doing my son's picture, I really never got all of the wrinkles totally out, but it turned out okay. And the piece of printer paper that it's taped to kind of acts as a feeder into the printer. I don't think you'd want to try to just print directly onto the tissue paper without it being taped to a piece of paper. Here's the printer that I'm using, and you do need to use a laser printer, something that uses toner, not an inkjet. So if you don't have a laser printer, hopefully a friend does that you can borrow. Okay, there it is. To remove the picture from the backing, I started cutting and then I realized it wasn't in the view of the camera. So rather than just trying to rip it off, I'm going to cut it so I don't accidentally rip my tissue paper down into the picture. Then I want to have some wax paper underneath my picture. And because tissue paper, once you put moisture on the tissue paper, it's going to want to shrivel up a little bit. And so 
Actually, let me cut this down a little smaller. That's better. So to keep it from shriveling, I'm going to tape it down to my table. It's still going to shrivel some, but not as bad. So you want to pull tight, but don't over stretch it and cause it to rip. That looks good. So I've already shaken my Mod Podge so it should be ready to go. And then I have just one of these inexpensive foam brushes. I'm going to put a very, very thin coat of Mod Podge on my picture. I have something else I'm working on over here. I'll just use this to pour some out on. I'm just going to put a thin protective layer of Mod Podge over my picture and then I'll let that dry. Now when you're doing this, it does stretch your paper some, so be careful. You don't want to work so hard that it rips your paper. And you can see it wants to wrinkle. So we'll have to work those out. So I'm just gently pulling, trying to get those wrinkles to come out. There we go. And I cannot stress enough how gentle you need to be while working with this. Now that's going to be it for my first coat. And when I say first coat, I'm only, going, I'm only going to do one coat on this front side. What I'm doing now is putting a thin coat on so that when it's time for me to adhere my picture to my canvas, this one thin layer of Mod Podge will greatly help protect my picture from ripping. Because when you put it down on your canvas, you really have to kind of press and move it and work with it. If you don't have this thin layer of Mod Podge on it, it is super easy to rip your picture. So that's the only reason I did this. I'll go ahead and let this dry thoroughly. We're getting ready to eat supper, so I'll wait at least an hour before I see how it is. So we'll keep working after that. Okay, so I'm doing a Zoom dinner with my family since we're all social distancing. And I left for a little bit because I <laughs> realized that my wax paper was still under my picture. So hopefully it's not stuck to it. You really wanna take your picture off your wax paper before it gets too dry. Otherwise it sticks together like this. I think I can still peel it off okay, but I would recommend not waiting until it's dry to do this. See, in some places it sticks, and in some places it doesn't. Okay, I think, I think I'm safe now. Okay, so there's my picture. Now I'm going to go back and join the family for the rest of our Zoom dinner. And then I'll come back, and I'll put my picture on my canvas. It's been about two hours since I put my Mod Podge on. 
So we're going to move on. The first thing that I want to do is I want to cut my picture down. I know it's going to be a little too big for my canvas, but the first thing I'll do is just cut it down and figure out where I want to trim it. The way the composition is of this picture, I want to leave as much as I can up top since her head is partially cut off. I think I'll cut off of this side over here and the bottom. If I accidentally cut it too small, I can paint just a little bit on the top of my canvas. And then these canvas boards, or the wrapped canvas, they're slightly rounded on the edge, so I will have to just nip off a little bit at the corners. Still a little bit wide at the bottom, so I'll go ahead and trim that up. Just keep working on it until you get it exactly the way you want it. Now this next step is the step where I get nervous. I'm just going to put a little in the bottom of this little glass bowl. And then I want this to be a really thin layer. I want to be able to move my paper around on this layer fairly easily. So I'm going to put in just a little bit of water. And then give this a good stirring. Now that's just going to drip in there. It's very runny, but that's how I want my first layer. And this first layer is going to be underneath this picture. Now this is my wax paper that was under it. I have another piece of clean wax paper handy in case I want to use it on top of the picture to flatten it down real well. So I'll just get this coated. And since I just put a little fresh paint on the corners, I have a few little black streaks. I'm going to try to get those out just so they don't accidentally show through. Now while this is still good and wet, we're going to go ahead and place our picture. And if there's a little bit of white showing through, I'll just touch that up with some black paint at the end. So I have a corner set where I want it. I'm going to smooth out my picture as best as I can. And then I'm going to rub it down as I'm laying the rest of my picture down. Now, there's either a wrinkle or something under that. Looks like something's under that. There is. Okay, let's get that out. I'll freshen up my glue a little bit. And I'll rub it out as I lay it down. And you have to be super gentle with this. That looks pretty good, but I do have a few wrinkles here and there. So 
So rather than stretch and pull directly on my tissue paper, I'm going to put this wax paper over it and see if I can't smooth it out with that some. And some of that Mod Podge will start coming through because the tissue is fairly porous. Okay. Hopefully some of our ink didn't lift right there. I think it may have. And I was noticing that I really like my son's so much better than my daughter's. And I think the reason is because his has a matte finish. And you just don't see all those imperfections as much on a matte finish. Hers is a glossy finish. And I just see all of the imperfections. They just kind of jump out at me on the glossy. So I'm switching over to the Mod Podge matte. You don't want a huge buildup on your picture, so I will just do another thin layer. Now the glossy from this picture is from that protective layer that we did before I put it down on my canvas, but I think this will take away from the sheen of it. I have a couple of air bubbles over here. I tried to push them out, but the edges were sealed up against the paint, and so they wouldn't push out. If they are still there when it's dry, I guess maybe I could take a pin and poke a hole through it, push it down, put more Mod Podge on it. I just don't know that that's worth it. We'll see how it looks when I'm done. This dries pretty quickly, so you don't have a lot of time to play with it. And mine's pretty old, so it's probably drying even more quickly. I probably should have put a couple of drops of water in it. I think I just need to stock. I'll just cover that up with my press and seal. And then if I need to do another layer, I'll add just a tiny bit of water to that. I just realized I may not have had my microphone on on the last clip. So in case I didn't and it sounds bad, what I did is I took this matte Mod Podge. I like it better than the glossy. I noticed that the gloss was showing so many imperfections in this. And compared to my son's, I just didn't like it. And let me show you what I'm talking about. See, his isn't very glossy, and hers was super glossy, and just all the imperfections were showing up. So since then, I put a coat of this matte Mod Podge on top of it. And I really like that so much better. The last step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to spray one coat of this matte Mod Podge on just to try to degloss it a little bit more and then I'll take a picture at the end. So thank you so much for joining me today. Until the next video, bye bye.